I'm not sure people really appreciate how scarce Bitcoin actually is, but they will when buying it under 100k is a thing of the past. Bitcoin crypto morning tea. Hey. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name's Piano Matty B. That is Scaramucci's. This is your morning tea. A brief glimpse into the crypto markets where the sun's shining, where the winds blow. All the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni. Bring in the dead. The FOMO index has inched down to 76. From yesterday, 78 Bitcoin dominance is 52.8%. 24 hour volumes, 73 billion. The overall market cap, 2.68. Give or take a hundred million. <laughs> well, in an unusual turn of events, Bitcoin behaved rather uncharacteristically bullish over the weekend. Normally, price action remains quite dormant as the legacy tarred fi institutions helicopter to the Hamptons for their adrenochrome parties. But not this weekend, as we had movement to the upside. But we talked about this, so it should have come as no surprise to anyone in this boutique community. When Bitcoin price action, well, she had a little bump. My heartbreakingly bullish outlook would be to see the sell-off correct and we pump back up to our channel's resistance at 69.4. My heartbreakingly bullish target for today before price action goes to sleep all weekend long would be to pump up and out of our channel's resistance up at 69.3 and start ranging in this upper east side of price action challenging the elusive 71.3 wall lord love a duck she didn't do just that after dipping its toes down under the 20 moving average friday afternoon finding a bottom and a bounce at siggity 6k price action turned a bullish cheek and started to rally up to and close a couple candles at a channel's resistance at 69.3 then began its range up at that level finally continuing up last night to break through the elusive 71.3 wall picking out at 72.1 and has feathered down to a time of production 71.7 so we're back into our higher channel and we have eclipsed that 71.3 wall that has given us such a hard time and so far we're carving out a higher high I'd like to see price action continue up and out of this channel Breaking through resistance at 73K and knocking out another all-time high, hopefully before the bell rings. Market open at 8.30. <laughs> the most bullish take on this pump is that we are invalidating old Mr. Clean's head and shoulders pattern so we can send him back to his studio apartment on top of the Chinese restaurant on Sunset Boulevard. Now over on the ding dong, you can see we broke out of our symmetrical triangle of neutrality and are approaching our channel's resistance up at 73K. And you can see we've never candle closed above this point, so doing that 
possibly today would put this market into a bullish fervor. And if we really want to pump our bullish tires, we can all agree on this cute little bull flag whose price probability is, and sing it with me now. Oh, you take the pole, you slide it all, the breakout point, and then we're all at 94 k So bullish. Quick look at the Wookiee. Says we did close the candle ring, but she's a red hammer candle. Which is a continuation candle telling us that we could expect more bullish continuation this week. Our last hammer candle two weeks ago fed into a 5% continuation to the upside. And where would a 5% upside from here take us? Well, that would be at 75K. And while we're delusionally bullish this amazing Monday morning, let's revisit the mother of all bull flags, which plays out to 102K. -ish. Oh, it's been a wild month, and although it's felt like price action stopped moving, you can see how violent these swings have been. Wicking down to 60k and back a couple times to finally be almost back in price discovery mode. My heartbreakingly bullish outlook for the wing would be to candlestick this all-time high wick ump at 73.7 and shove a candle close up its throat and let the blessed throes of price discovery wash over this patient boutique community can you feel the bullish wind at your face <laughs> Yeah, would you look at that, my friends? The sun's up. It's another beautiful day here on planet Earth. A day none of us are guaranteed. Yet we're lucky enough to have anyway. So get out there. Knock them dead. And remember, we're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected leads. And that's right, it's the long game. Suss them out and have a fantastic day. <laughs> and we'll be going live right away, so grab yourself a coffee. Join me for a quick one, and by all means, sing it with me now. Or on the banks of Boom to Spang, Bitcoin, Crypto, Morning Tea. Hey, Pretty bullish Monday morning. I hear someone coming down the stairs with a ping pong ball, maybe bouncing a ping pong ball. It's not, oh, it's a cat. <laughs> Pretty bullish on a Monday morning. 72.2, just losing her. I think we almost got up to 73K. Oh, oh there's a... I, Fibonacci. Now he's scared because, you know, last time he, you want to come up here? Come up here. Her. We'll, we'll be nice this time. <laughs> See, it wants to be pet, but it's like on its own. It's just, if you, if you, it's, it's, it's like a water. When you go to pat its head, it's like, uh, 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 uh. but you can see he wants to be, I, I can feel him purring. He's purring a bit, but I think he, he maybe just wants out. He's an outdoor cat now. Doesn't really like to be inside, do you, Fibonacci? You little psychopathic, half Siamese, half ragdoll. Anyway, we almost got to 73K. It's always nice. It's always nice on a Monday morning to wake up, you know, because, like, correct me if I'm wrong and tell me if you get this. I, I get alerts, but they're not consistent. You know, like, sometimes I'll get an alert from CoinMarketCap. Oh, Bitcoin has hit uh, this new level, right? And it's, it's it could be only a thousand dollars above the last time I checked, but it'll send me a an alert. And then sometimes, like last night, I think I went to bed. It was about sixty nine k. I I don't know. It was like eight o'clock at night. And then I woke up to seventy two k. That's that's a three k. Let's call our twenty five hundred dollar pump. 
and uh, no, no alert, no alert. So it's always a, I appreciate the no alert because I like to look at my phone and get that hit of uh, dopamine and serotonin right in the morning. Hey, Fibonacci. Yeah. Fibonacci's a noisy little so-and-so too. When he wants out, he, uh, he meows incessantly until he gets his way and he's not going to uh, shut up. He's never going to let up. He's going to meow and until he gets out. And uh, if you're not his huckleberry, what he'll do is he'll stalk you. And wherever you're walking, it will run out in front of you and go, yeah, so yeah, but the door, yeah. Uh, yeah. Might as well open the door. So yeah. That's just uh, this funny little cat here. You know, six months ago, this cat was a uh, standoffish, it wouldn't have wanted affection. It got it from uh, Duke's nanny, my mom. It was the only one that it liked to be pet by. And now it's become a, a fan of attention, which, you know, I liked it better when it was a little more elusive, like that 71.3 wall that we cracked last night. That was, remember, we were talking about that 71.3 wall ad nauseum, probably for weeks. <sighs> mm, That's kind of bullish, uh, Pete. Kind of bullish, Nikki Pete. And we finally cracked her. Now, this is where it gets pretty dicey. Let's let's check over on that four-hour noisy little so-and-so. You see, there's not a lot of volume here. John DeVolta is like, why? What the? Where's, where's all the volume? All the volume seems to be pushing down that 71.3. Can I do this with one arm or are you going to hit the road, Fibonacci? I know. We can maybe turn you upside down. Um, yeah. You like to just kind of sit there upside down. Um, that's 71.3 level. This is interesting doing this with a cat in my arms. Here it is, the 71.3. So we are above it, but you can see now if someone was, uh, are you, are you good? Or just staring eye, eyes into eyes. Okay. You're good. Hair everywhere. Um, you can see how in, in natural market conditions, which I feel we are in, unless uh, the market opens, in roughly 18 minutes to a, bu a bullish fervor, when I, when I was writing that part of the script and I went over it, like playing it during the video, bullish fervor, I had to stop. I'm like, fervor? Is that even a word? Is, is that a German, like, no, that's the, the fur, furrier, furrer, or what is it? What do they call the... The Hitler, he was called the Fur or something like that. I was like, am I doing some sort of bizarre throwback <laughs> to the, the German regime? Bullish fervor. Is that a word, fervor? Anyhow, you can see how under normal market conditions, we may come and retrace and put the support beams on 71.3 because it was such a... Difficult little so and so to get over. It would, would naturally the market wants to go and retest it to make sure that fervor Bruce my fervor fervor squeaky McGee fervor yeah fervor solid word sneaky Pete vaporizers fervor bullish fervor because until this morning I guarantee you I promise you I've never used that word before so I don't know where it came from but it seemed to fit the script when I was writing it. And here's another funny thing about the script. When I was doing the one over at the end, because now I make so many mistakes these days that I have to look at this, all this hair on, can you see it? It was on, on the mouse. Um, I make so many weird mistakes that I have to do a once over before I, I uh, export it or else I'll be watching it with you guys and going, oh, Holy smokes. That's such a crazy mistake. So anyway, when it was, when it was going to, uh, on the weekly, a 5% jump from here would go to 75K. When I when I saw the 75K, I was like, oh, that's got to be a mistake. And I was like, no, that, that's not a mistake. We're at 72K. So 5% from here, 75K. Now, that's crazy talk. Getting into the 75K area, I believe there should be some short squeezes. That's why I was right here at the 73K. We could go boom right to 75.6. That's the next level of Brendan's furor 
which meant the leader. Gotcha. The leader, yes. So I'm thinking about right here where this resistance is and the all-time highs is going to be the site of some short squeezes that could take us instantly to the 75, 75.6, if not 80K. There's going to be some quick jumps here because we look at this noisy little so-and-so. Jeez. <laughs> and this, my friends, is how easy technical analysis is. As you can see, it goes up and down. Look at that. It's so messy. I just keep it there so we know from whence we've came and from whence we may go. So, you know, I'm I'm gonna keep these the shoulder here of uh, old Mister Clean. Yes, you know, just in case. Uh, the market will do what the market wants to do, even though we're bullish right now. You know, maybe this eight thirty morning gets a massive dump. Who knows? Seems like we're 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 trying to hold on to seventy two k. Trying to hold on now. It would be nice. <clears throat> it would be nice if we could uh, stay in this this channel here. There's not much. Where's is Travolta there? Yeah, there's not much. See, he's like, there's a little bit over here. I mean, there's a little bit over here, but uh, other than that, there's not a lot of. If anything, there's pushback. So my bullish delusion wants to take us to 73k, hit a little bit of a short squeeze, and pump up into price discovery. So that's what that's what the four hour charts telling me. Eighty likes. That's that's a good start for a, a Monday morning. Um, more than halfway through the stream, eighty likes. I I think that might YouTube might recognize that as a strong algorithmic push to get the video out there. Now, I'm no YouTube expert, obviously, but they say when you get the likes up there, um, it might push it up. Um, push it out. Sorry, push it out. And the, remember the concentric circles that we talked about. So, Terry Crow, Dave was on a date night Saturday. Oh, do tell Dave. We didn't know this. You know, we were, we were busy uh, having a Saturday night. I guess Dave wasn't there. He was on a date. Oh, well, he'll have to let us know. Maybe in the Discord. I think it's in the... Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're, if you're new to the channel or you haven't joined the Discord, check the description. There's an invite link there. And you can... Uh, we can maybe find out all the juicy deets of... Uh, <laughs> Dave's uh, date and Dave's thinking, well, you know, this, it is a boutique community, but we don't need to know everything about each other. That's true. Good point, Dave. You're thinking that. I know. I'm just going to say what you're thinking. The ding dong. Lord love a duck. We broke out of that symmetrical triangle. Just like she said you would. This, now, this is an interesting part. We haven't, it's so small. Can you guys even see that? Okay. The pro problem is, is I'm trapped in the, in the uh, all the doohickeys I got flying around on the screen. Right now, the, the little green is missing. Am I lined up? Yeah, more or less. You can see we haven't closed the candle above 73K yet. So that will be the next monumental bullish hook to hang our bullish hat in. Until that, we will be susceptible to retesting this triangle. And that would, would make sense, right? Maybe come down back to here. Where is that? 70K. Oh, back into the 60s. Gross. Now I got to start doing the Siggities again. Siggity 9.2, Siggity 8. I'm, I'm sick of sitting see, saying the Siggities. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I had Duke screaming up there. Do you guys hear that? There's the... Uh, Dave, without even mentioning his date, just puts in the Discord. <laughs> Click on her if you want to join it up here. It was a quite quite a noisy little so and so after the after the show on Saturday night. What a, we had a great weekend. Thank you for uh, tuning in to the piano stream, the biggest and the best piano stream in the world. When I was watching the uh, when I'm driving on Sundays, I I'll put on YouTube and I'll I'll increase the probably not the best thing to do, but increase the uh, chat so I can see if I missed any super chats or important things that I should have had like crypto Billy 111's birthday that was a big deal um I almost missed it I remember I was supposed to do a, a, a like something to snip 
or something to snip. Is that what the kids call it? Snip it or cut it or something like that. And uh, I almost forgot. So uh, we we're lucky enough to catch that one. If you guys haven't seen Billy Goat Tales, I think is one of the most uh, interesting projects happening right now, just because it's, it's a kind of art in the making because it's a, it's long form podcast about different topics that will be turned into a book after they do 30, I think it is, 30 podcasts. So that's pretty neat. And everyone's speaking and it becomes a digital history, so to speak, in, in the book. And is it an NFT? Or maybe I'm getting things mixed up. Dave Digital would know. Ask Dave in the Discord. He'll he'll uh, he'll hook you up real proper. Like it's on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. That's right. 8 o'clock. How can I forget? Because I'm always like this, trying to stay up <laughs> to to uh, listen to it. Alas, when I want something, when I want to stay up and listen to something or watch something at eight o'clock, I can't do it. When I want to go to bed at eight o'clock and nothing to watch or can't do it either. So it's like, I have to really want to do something at eight o'clock and then fall asleep like a baby. The ding dong. This is it. This is our next little, uh, Monumental bullish hook, 73.7. We've only wicked that which once wicked, my friends. We'll get candle sticked eventually. It's a C. It's, it's a masculine C, isn't it? I, I never thought of C major as a masculine chord or note. It's almost, God, dare I say, feminine? But it's very uh, middle of the road, middle C, right? And uh, it's, it's, it is the captain of the football team, though, I've always said. See, very modest. It's like captain of the football team makes all the plays, wins the, wins the inevitable, game, inevitable game for the team. But you won't hear him basking in the glory. You know, he won't be at the after party. They'll be, where, where is, where is C Major? Well, he said he was coming. Guess he ducked out. But that's a mean C Major. So 30, 71, 73.7 is the next candle close. Now, I would like to, we got to party with Canadian John Bon Jovi and his wife on Saturday, Epic Hang. I would be, I, I would enjoy being at the Jimmy with those folks, I think. Yeah, that guy, he's, he's an interesting character because I remember playing his wedding. I, I remember seeing him when I was, uh, season one, I'll get back to John Bon Jovi. Billy Goat Tales is almost over. Tuesday night at, Nine eight central CMT. Grab a mic as a speaker, and you'll be in NFT history. Bitcoin history. Don't miss it. Billy Go Tales Tuesday at eight o'clock CMT. Um, when I was I set up there. Uh, I try to set up between like seven thirty and eight, so no one's there, you know. And uh, so they were there, and I remember looking at him, and he was looking at me, and. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've seen this meme, but you know the guy who's staring at the musician from the bar with that, oh, I'm going, I want to talk to this guy. To me, they they just want to talk about their music, their how good they are at some music or their gear. They want to tell me that they play the piano or they want to tell me about the gear they have, right? So I try to avoid eye contact with everyone as much as I can because I don't really... Did I've, you hear anything upstairs? I did. I heard screaming. What was going on? I was raging. You were raging? <laughs> okay, there we go. We just lost 72K, Duke. Ah. So I'm raging too. Um, so back to that guy. I I was I just saw a saw him and I was like, God, he looks familiar. And then when Kyle pointed him out, uh, I realized, holy smokes, I played that guy's wedding. It was it was a it was a crazy wedding. He he likes to sing too, that guy. And now I remember his favorite song to sing is um I don't like Mondays. And now, whether you like or dislike that song, it's a beware of what you wish for request because it is a classic piano song, but it's long. And if you're not a skilled piano man like Kyle and I, who now know how to edit songs on the fly, so if we were playing a song that's traditionally five minutes, we can somehow in our minds like, no, cut out that birth, nah, cut out the middle eight. No, nah, we don't need a solo. Next thing you know, it's 2.30, right? That's the way a piano bar song should do. But he did it at his wedding full. 
Uh, was it in tune the whole time? No, no. Was it in tune at all? Mm, eh, maybe, maybe. I mean, you you throw a thousand darts at a dartboard, you know, you, you're going to hit it eventually. It's a yo is my. Oh, okay. Hey, Duke, uh, do you want to um, play one of the songs you were... Uh, Duke's on a mission to learn 10 songs so he can get a what? What do you get after 10 songs? The piano is not on. Oh, okay. What do you get after 10 An songs? Xbox 360. 360, okay, whatever that is. So all he's got to do... <laughs> yeah, boy. All you got to do is learn 10 songs. Heaven. Can I just? Yeah. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Bridge Mountain. Shadowmoor River. Life is old here. Older than the trees. Younger than the mountains. Blowing like a breeze. Take me home. Country roads. Life is old here, dark and dust. Dark and dark dusty. And dusty. Painted to the sky. Misty taste of moonshine. Teardrops in my eye. Take me home, country, country roads. Take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. You know what I like about that? You nix the middle eight. You, you, you just nixed it. That's a true piano man. It's like, ah, we, middle eight. Nah, get rid of it. Solo. Nah, get rid of it. Yeah, Bruce, my uh, Duke is going to be opening up the Jimmy a lot this uh, summer, aren't you, Duke? What do you mean? Well, why not open up the Jimmy and do a couple songs? Might as well, right? Probably something, some, some sweet incentives <laughs> coming out of dad's pocket on that one. To get you there. It's a little late, but it's the summer holidays, right? What else are you going to do? Might as well open up. The, might as well be a professional piano man at eight, right? Oh, what's that? You want to try dancing in the moonlight? All right. Well, Duke, you bullish or bearish on this Monday? Bullish. Bullish, all right. I wonder when it's going to get to 100. Oh, it's pretty. Well, we're going to have to uh, clip that little part and say, when Duke, I wonder when it's going to get to 100. I would say uh, by the summer, by the time you're doing your uh, warm-up gigs at the at the Jimmy, when you can say, oh, I was a professional piano player when I was eight, I bet you it'll be 100K, my boy. U.S., mind you. So that means like 130 Canadian. But who cares about Canadian currency? I can't find it. All right, my boys, sing it out. We're playing the same game. We're playing the same game as all psychopathic collective. Psychopathic collective.
Around the base of Boone's bank. Job, buddy. Good singing. Good tunes too. Two of two of I, ten, I, eh? I forgot this. I got we got the sweet reverb in there. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Appreciate you showing up every morning at eight o'clock to enjoy the coffee enjoyed around the world. Ah, if you haven't hit that old uh, like button, oh, we got 119 likes and 104 viewers right now. Perfect. Perfect. Well, YouTube will. Maybe shine brightly on this Monday morning on us. I think so. It's a bullish day. So I think the attention will be back in the crypto sphere. Stay tuned at 830. Ah, let's go check out the uh, market open. Hopefully she's good to us. Holy smokes. What the hell is this? Way to go do. Put this towards the Xbox. Thank you, Scotty Mo. What is an Xbox? I guess it's a video game that Duke likes to play. Every waking moment of the day, we gotta drag them off until then. Way to go, Duke. Put this towards the Xbox. Thank you, Scotty Mo. Boca Roton. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow. Make sure you like and subscribe and share the